Hello, my name is Eve. I'm a researcher at the Healthy Materials Lab, and today I'll be showing you how to navigate our website. At the top of our home screen, you'll find links to other pages. If you click Glossary on the right side of the page, a list of terms will appear that you may encounter while using the website. Click on any word to get a full definition. Before we move on, let's scroll down to the Keep in Touch bar. Here, you can be added to our mailing list by entering in your email address. This is a great way to stay up to date with what's going on at the Healthy Materials Lab. All right, let's move on to why Healthy Materials. This page is a good place to start if you're new to the issue of Healthy Materials. Here, you can start to learn answers to questions like, how do materials even release chemicals? How do these chemicals get into our bodies? What are some potential effects on health? Who is most affected? And finally, what can we do? Don't recognize a term that we use? Don't forget that the glossary is always a click away with all the definitions you might need. Okay, so you've learned about why healthy materials are important, and now you want to know more. The education page is a great place to start. This is where information about our online certificate program lives. Let's click Learn More. This page has everything you need to know about our online certificate program. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see that we've anticipated some questions and provided answers. Frequently asked questions will help you out if you're not sure if this program is for you or if you're encountering some technical issues with the program. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that we have links to all four courses. Below that is a gallery of our contributors. These are experts from across a variety of fields who have all collaborated to make this course possible. Okay, let's move on to material collections. This is an incredibly helpful resource for those of you who are looking for actual healthier products. Through extensive research, we've curated these collections of materials that avoid major hazards of concern in the most impactful product categories. Up top, we have featured collections, but if you scroll down, you'll see our full complement of material collections. This includes composite wood products, countertops, insulation, drywall, carpet, ceramic tile, resilient flooring, and interior paints. So say you're looking for a healthier interior paint alternative. Navigate to the interior paints collection where you'll find a list of products that we've evaluated and thoroughly researched. By clicking on a specific product, you can get more detailed information, including its material composition and any certifications and disclosures it might have, as well as a downloadable data sheet that's easy to understand. Another helpful thing about the material collections is that each category provides spec guidance. That way, when you're specifying a new product, you'll know what needs to be avoided and what kinds of questions to ask. Okay, so you may be wondering, what are other ways to research material health? And how did we come up with these specification guidance points? Well, let's navigate to our Tools and Guides page. This is a collection of tools and guides that helps us and will help designers, architects, homeowners, and even developers to make more informed decisions about material health. We've aggregated and collected our favorite tools and guides and sorted them into helpful categories like material health research, material design approaches, materials guidance, product evaluations, and best practices. There are over 170 vetted resources in this section, so it's a great place to investigate material health more deeply. Okay, our projects page can give you information on what we're currently working on as well as what we've done in the past. This includes education projects, case study research, and demonstrations. This is a great way to get acquainted with how we raise awareness about toxics in building products and the importance of healthy materials. Let's scroll back up to the navigation bar and go to our blogs and events page. This is the page that's updated most frequently and is a good way to find out about upcoming events, read articles and blog posts, check out some trusted news from industry leaders and partners, and see what events we've hosted in the past. Let's move on to the About Us page. This is where you can get an overview of our mission, our goals, some partners we work with, and get acquainted with our team. Finally, let's go to the Dongia Healthier Materials Library page. 
The Healthier Materials Library is a resource for students, faculty, practitioners, and researchers from around the world to explore material samples, evaluate tools, and get in-person support. The library is a physical representation of what we do here at the lab. This page provides information on our hours of operation, how to contact us, and to what level you'll have access to the library. Navigate home at any time by clicking on the Healthy Materials Lab logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So I think that wraps up our tour. Thank you for joining us.